Hey guys, what's up? If you're watching this for the first time, my name is Archelon. If you guys have been following me and you already know who I am. But, uh, yeah, for those new to the channel, I have like 20 subs, I think, or 16 subs or something like that. But hopefully I get more over the next couple of weeks. I'm going to be doing some Lords of the Fallen. But aside from that, what I'm really wanting to talk about today, or rather in this video, is the aspect of the mindset for PvP in Ion. In fact, in a lot of MMOs. So this would be kind of like a guide for you. Particularly if you want to start PvPing in Ion. Things that you should uh, be aware of. Things that you should try to accept. And I'll kind of just try to break down the steps and things you should do or things you should have as a precursor to PvP in general. And then as I progress later on when I do more of these videos, I will start to focus more on the Templar and eventually after I'm done with the Templar, I'll move on to the Cleric, you know, other classes. I am in no way, shape or form the best tank or the best, um, what you want to call it, uh, PvPer. And for a number of reasons, for a number of reasons why I'm not the best, and some of them might actually surprise you, especially if you're wanting to PvP in Ion, these are things that you're going to encounter as issues. And let me go ahead and say it now that you're not going to become the best player in Ion. You're not going to become the best PvPer in Ion. And I don't want to burst, burst your bubble, I don't want to depress you, or I don't want to make you feel bad, but the honest truth is, you can't. You're not ever going to be that top tier, upper, you know, elite of Ion simply because there's already a top tier, upper elite on Ion. And, you know, if you're used to high school or if you ever went through like a system similar to high school, I went to a boarding school, so I never got that special privilege. But what you find is a lot of the mentality in these MMOs are the same. So number one first thing you need to do is accept the fact that you have to humble yourself and be prepared to take a lot of punishment and a lot of criticism for the things that you do. I get criticized on a regular basis by different players, people who assume that the only way to get to the top is to step on everyone else, and they will step on you. You just have to accept that this is going to happen, this is a fact of life, not just with MMOs but it just happens all around you and this is something you have to come to terms with. Another thing you have to accept is that it's going to take a long time. It's not something you're going to pick up and go within a few days or a week or two or three weeks or a month. I mean, if you're a prodigy, I guess you could pick it up in a month. But there are a lot of things you need to do and skill is one thing, but in games like Ion where there's a lot of gear, a lot of differences in gear and things you can do to your gear to assist in PvP, it's going to take a lot longer than just, well, a month. Let's just put it that way. So, number one, mindset. Before we get into anything, your mindset has to be clear. Don't go into this expecting to take all the info and become number one or, you know, take all the info and be on your way to becoming number one because I'm not number one. No matter how hard I try, you know, I could turn around and practically beat every person on the server there's always going to be that one person that will complain about you know oh it's gear or oh you know you're never going to be this good or there there will flat out be people that will talk themselves up and they will never put in any effort to show for that they'll just they'll just talk so i'm sorry if this is turning into kind of a rant but it's something i really need to get through to a lot of players especially people that ask me how to pvp and i've i have personally struggled with this a lot of players will give you some very negative criticism. Even the top players will make you feel like you are just nothing. But you have to realize that this is what these players do. This is kind of what they do. This is their mindset. On their way to the top, they've had to step on everyone else. The followers that they have, albeit some of them being quite good players and some of them actually being really really skilled players most of them that's just their mindset you have to imagine yourself as what do i need to do to get to the top what do i need to do in order to be seen as these this top player if you're the kind of person like me that 
I have a lot of empathy for people. I like to put myself in people's shoes and see where they come from, how they feel about things. Then you're never going to be having that mindset where the only way to get to the top is to just trample over any everyone else. And that honestly is the only way to get to the top in MMOs. In the MMO, especially like Ion or World of Warcraft or not so much Guild Wars 2, I've found that the the community on Guild Wars 2 seems to be a lot more mature. But most MMOs where people hide behind their screens and just talk themselves up, that's the mindset. You know, I am who I am and you're never going to be on my level. Think about that for a moment. If that's the type of person you are, then you already know what it is you need to do to get to the top. You don't need to watch this video. You could turn off this video right now and, you know, call it what you want. Just some whiny little kid or some whiny little dude just complaining whatever right but you already know what it is you need to do go out and do it and you will without my help make it to the top so enough of the ranting let's just assume that you know what's gonna be required of you to become somewhat good at pvp on ion or in general here just for this video and let's talk about things that you should consider when starting PvP. So, for most games, with the exception of Arcade, there is PvP gear. This is the first step, regardless of what anyone tells you, skill, yes, skill is a good thing, but without the gear, that skill is practically nothing. You know, I, I have encountered PvP, especially in Ion, where I am in PvE gear and I still rock people, I still handle myself pretty well, but, but, it's always been a challenge. So before you can begin learning how to PvP properly, you need to help yourself get gear so you're on the same playing field. Now, Ion has the Discordant gear, which isn't too bad. It really isn't. I still have a Discordant set myself. I have one that I use frequently. And I've used it for a long time, and it's actually my block set. So it's actually not a bad idea to get whatever is the easiest PvP gear or set to get. So for World of Warcraft, I think there are two types of Season 15. There's the lower tier Season 15 and the upper tier Season 15. Now World of Warcraft is a bit different, uh, I'll admit, because you might want to just save up and get the higher tier, at least before the new World of Adrena patch comes out, or you might just want to save for the new tier that comes out with that expansion. But with WoW, they're always adding more gear and they're always buffing the stats and you might find yourself at more of a disadvantage than you think just between two grades of gear. It's it's really weird, but again, the basic premise is that you need specialized gear in order to assist your learning curve or your ability to learn in PvP. Why is this? Because take for example, you're this prodigy or you're you're assuming that you're going to be really good at PvP in order for you to begin learning the tips and tricks for each class and how to counter each class when you PvP, you have to be given the opportunity to study that. I have always told people, particularly in my guild, that you never want to be in a situation where you walk away from a fight and you haven't learned anything. You never want to enter a fight just to get just trashed. Like, you can get zerged, everyone gets zerged, but you don't want to run into a fight and take absolutely nothing out of it. You want to always be learning something. Even if it's how to run away properly. That's still something that you can take away from a fight because, hey, this person is overgeared and there's nothing I can do. I'm just going to pelt it. You don't want to stay there and get your butt handed to you and learn nothing. Because, hey, guess what? That person just learned a trick or learned something else about your class that he or she may not have known and you walk away with nothing, you just walk away with, you know, an ion, in this case, soul sickness. Speaking of which, that's something you might also want to look into getting rid of if you have a mansion or a house or have the ability to get one of those or the administrator's boon. That's something that will help a lot. Okay, so now let's focus on ion. I've talked about PvP gear in a general sense, I've talked about your mindset in a general sense. Now let's focus mainly on ion. And before we get into the Templar, let's just focus on things you need to know. Now, there 
are a lot of things involved with the movement and placement of your character in Ion that will determine how, I guess, your performance is when you attack or you defend or, you know, just different ways you move. So, for example, if you notice my character right now, I have an upward arrow around my, like, feet area. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe if I zoom out a bit. There you go. So when I move forward, I'm getting a slack, uh, slight attack increase. When I move backwards, I get an arrow, which gives me a slight defense increase, but I suffer from my attack. So if you watch carefully, now that I've aggroed these guys, I should be able to block or not take as much damage as I would be, as you can see. It's in the 200s, uh, 100 to 200s. And these are just mobs, right? Now, if I move forward towards them, you should notice that they're going to do, yeah, see, 500 damage. They just do a lot more damage, and this works for NPCs as well as players. Your movement plays a heavy role in how much damage you mitigate as well as how much attack you can do to a target. So, for example, when moving forward, you always want to have your heavy hitting hits off cooldown, especially when you're engaging a clothy or a real squishy character because those are the ones that are going to have the high damage output you want to get them down as quickly as possible so move forward when you have your big hits off cooldown and you have everything ready to go and you have your rotation in mind movement is key because standing still is going to get you killed i'm still learning this i'm not the best like i said i'm not the best pvp -er, but standing still will for certainly get you killed Another thing you need to know about Ion is that there are a lot of people that spend a lot of money, I am one of them, to get geared. And not just to get geared, but to give ourselves the advantage as far as the learning curve and the time allotted to us to get gear. This isn't necessarily a, a bad thing. Some of us work, like I know I, I work, I don't have all the time in the world to just sit here and grind an instance some people don't and some people are just talented like that that they can do both i'm just not one of those people you need to figure out what your play style is and what your play time is so that would be number three or would that be number four kind of lost count here play time and play style decide the type of pvp or you are within your play time basically if you're for example, if you're a Templar, if you're a DPS Templar, or if you're a support Templar, or if you're pure just assault, pure offense, pure crit Templar, you need to know that before going into PvP. And it'll just make your life a lot easier if you know these things. Then your playtime. Give yourself about a week. Just play around with the PvP. Obviously, get your Discordant gear for whatever class. There are two sets and they should mirror the different subclasses for the main class. For example, the Fierce set is the tanking set for the Templar, whereas the Fearless set, I believe, is the Gladiator set for um, the, the Warrior class. So just things like that you need to look up. I'll post some links in the video description below so you can see what different sets are for what. But Keep in mind that you're not going to be able to PvP properly, especially in games like this, uh, MMO games that seem to be PvP centric, if you don't have some gear. Alright, so playtime. You need to decide for yourself when's the best time for you to PvP. You can't just log in at, say, 3 in the morning and run out and kill one person and be like, alright, I'm good, yeah, okay. I learned all the things I wanted to learn and now I'm, I'm ready to kick some ass, or uh, let's go whoop ass. It doesn't work that way you are probably going to get your ass beat at 3 in the morning anyway because the people that are online at 3 in the morning have probably been online for a while and I don't know, it's like that second wind kicks in and the the mindset of some of these players, especially that late at night is, you know, no bullshit mind. It's a no bullshit mentality. So they seem to be a lot harder on themselves and players that they play with and I mean it's it's late you know you're 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 tired you're in your second wind you kind of just want to get things done and over with you don't you don't want to bs you don't want to bs another thing you need to watch out for is mediocrity that would be the fifth 
thing you need to watch out for. Don't get stuck in the mindset that, okay, I have been beaten and there's nothing I can do. Note that the first thing I said is mindset. And now we're coming back to this mindset where it's like a cycle. So I've been there before. I've been beaten by really, really geared players. And I've turned around and beaten them in duels. But they will always come up with something. I mean, it's just, it's just going to happen. They will always come up with something to remind you that they are where they are and you do not belong there. So keep that in mind. Please, please keep that in mind. It took me a hell of a long time to learn that, and if not for a few friends, I probably still wouldn't have gotten it. They will try to keep you where you are and remind you constantly that they are there because of who they are. And it's kind of like a high school mentality. I'm not going to say any names, but on Tiamat, this is very, very prevalent. Like, people do this a lot. I, for one, when I duel people, I humble myself. I don't go off and trash talk. I mean, there's no point in trash talking. It's just all you're doing literally is undermining a person's efforts. That's literally all you're doing. And if that's how you get your kicks, then, you know, that's fine. You, to each their own. I can't do say anything to change that. But if you're a person that has a lot of empathy for other people like me, I just can't do that. A lot of players will take that one victory that you get, that one shining moment where you did something different, and instead of helping you build upon that, they will just tear you down. Oh, my my, my cooldowns were off. Or, oh, you know, my ping. Or, or oh, you know, I just lagged or I hit the wrong... They will say a bunch of things, and some of them will even go as far as to criticize your performance in general. They'll go as far as to say, for example, oh, well, that's a lucky shot. I mean, I, be I beat you the past five times. But they will, they will purposefully negate the fact that you did something different. Just keep that in mind. So, mediocrity. Don't allow yourself to be torn down by other players, especially when trying to trying to get yourself to where you can PvP on par with them. For example, I know a lot of Templars on this server are, you know, famous like Elsa Scarlet or Yuki or whatnot, Pan, and a lot of them have a lot of followers. These followers kind of build that hype, and don't get me wrong, these players are really, really good, and they've dedicated a lot of time and effort to the to becoming good Templars, but for example, I will never be on par with them, not because I'm not good, not because I don't know how to play my Templar, but simply because I'm not them. I'm not on the same level as them because they're already on that level. You can't have two people on the same pedestal, especially if someone was there first. It's, it's, it's high school, come on, we, we, sh we should know this. And again, not saying any names, but that's kind of the mindset a lot of people have. So I've been beaten by a lot of glads, by a lot of Templars in, in the past, and only for me to turn around, get geared, and I start beating them, but that mindset remains. You know, I will still be considered this trashy player because I'm just that trashy player. So take with it what you will, have your friends with you, know who your friends are, and just have some fun with it. Next few videos that I do are just going to be the more stat, I guess, the, the stats required for the Templar and things you need to be mindful of when, sorry, things you need to be mindful of when playing the Templar class. Just take from this, you know, the five steps that I said is more of just a, a mindset video or just things you need to have in, in your head before you start PvP. So what was the first one? Your mindset. Accept the fact that there is a high probability, unless you get really lucky, that you will not be accepted as top tier. You will not ever get to the point where people consider you as good. You might have some friends and they might say you're good and yeah, that's fine. But you need to remember that a lot of these MMOs, I mean, look at the way people trash talk. It's a high school mentality. You're behind your computer screen. There's no one there to shut you down. You can say whatever you want, act however big you want. It doesn't matter. People will back you up if you sound funny enough or if you sound fierce enough. Oh, hell, if they just like the way you sound. That's all it is.
at the end of the day, you need to be happy with yourself and what you're learning and gaining from the things that you do. Number two, understand that you need gear. Regardless of what anyone is going to tell you, if you do not have gear, particularly in Ion and other PvP-centric games or MMOs, gear is vital. This is put in the game by the developers for a reason. It's not supposed to be used in a, oh, what if, or how about case. It's supposed to be like, I have this, and this gives me the edge that I need. Or I have this and it allows me to stand on par with you and now we're on the same playing field where it's all down to skill. Try to get it to the point where it's all about skill and not about gear. And the third thing is man is management of your playtime and your playstyle. So I guess that's the third and the fourth thing. Understand the type of playstyle you have. Understand the type of person you are when you PvP. If you're very hot-tempered, you know, easily angered person, you might want to try, especially if you're trying to get into PvP early on, you might want to try m carrying the aspects that you learn in PvP into PvE. Like, try the different things you do when you PvP with other players in PvE. I mean, the mobs have AI, you know, they're not as intelligent as regular players, but there are certain things you can do or certain ways you can go about handling those mobs that you might handle in PvP as well. I mean, I have <laughs> I have a great friend of mine, uh, Pusajad, and he is so hot-tempered. And, you know, he, he's great at PvPing in, on um, Arcage, but at the same time, he loses his cool a lot. A lot of the time. But, you know, he's great because he doesn't just PvP constantly. If you PvP constantly and keep getting your butt handed to you constantly, and you're hot-tempered, it's a mixture for just a horrible mess. It's going to get to the point where you're not gaining any knowledge because you're so hot-tempered. And this is no offense to you as a player, but you need to, again, understand your play style and how you play on your playtime. So playtime, if you work a lot, be prepared to spend some extra money. I mean, this is a free-to-play game, and some of these games are free-to-play for a reason and they offer freemium services for a reason. It's not a bad thing, do not feel ashamed, because while you're at work, earning money to take care of your family or your kid or whatever it is that you're doing or just flat out just working because you have to or you're in school or whatever it is you're doing, not to trash talk any of the players that don't have to do all that, but you, you're missing out on the content that they're taking part in. You're missing out on that extra chance to get a mythic weapon. You're missing out on that extra chance to get, you know, an item that would greatly help you. And there are ways, but there are items you can get off the store to increase your chances when you do have the time to do those things. So just keep that in mind. You shouldn't feel embarrassed to... It's not pay to win. It is nowhere near pay to win. It just increases your chances of getting items because you don't have the time to grind 10 ISs in a day. You know, just stuff like that. And the fifth thing, mediocrity. I don't know if I'm using the word right, but to me, I understand it as keeping yourself in that mindset where you're always just going to be average. Get out of that mindset. You are your own champion. I got this from a friend of mine, and it, it rings true. You're your own champion. Don't ever feel like you can't do it. Because other people aren't going to believe that you're capable of doing it. You need to believe yourself that you're capable of doing it. You need to know what your limitations are, obviously. Be real with yourself. But at the same time, know that other players are going to try to keep you where you are. It sounds counterintuitive that I'm talking so passionately about this. And it's a video game. And at the end of the day, I'm going to walk away and it's a video game. But at the same time, people are still going to trash talk. It's because people will trash talk. There's nothing you can do about it. Just know what your limits are as a player and each day strive to learn something new and let the outcome always be that you're improving. So I'm going to have your back, hands down, because I'm the type of person I always try to look for the best in people, even when people disappoint me. I mean, I learn to move on, but if you need help, just like I said, leave a comment and you know send me a private message on youtube or if you know me on tmf send me a whisper 
I know I only have a select number of viewers right now and not many subscribers. But if you're still watching this and you're this far into the video, then you've already heard my rant and you should know that, you know, I, I, I understand what it's like to be on that falling, you know, slope of just, oh, there's nothing I can do and people will always think that, you know, I'm trash. People, with the exception of one person, and I know he gets a lot of crap for this, but Shu on Tiamat, he's probably one of the nicest, like, top tier players you will probably ever meet. I'm not saying, you know, go whisper him and bog him down. He's probably busy being OP or whatever, but he's not gonna... I mean, he doesn't trash talk. I mean, he does once in a while, but come on, we all get cocky, but... I mean, I, I trash talk once in a while, I guess, but... He's one of the nicer, higher-up uh, players, which is good. You know, if, if there's a person you want to talk to on the server, like, I'd say, talk to Shu, especially if you're on Tiamat. Um, Gundam, I know, is on Karoon. He used to be a really, really good Templar. I'm sure he still is, but I don't know what he's up to now. And I don't know if he's still Elios. So if you're on the Karoon server, you might want to talk to him. I don't know about Seals or Israfel. And of course, I'm here too on Tiamat. So despite what people think or whatever, if you have any questions, feel free to PM me when I'm logged in and I will try to answer them as much as possible. Well, to the best of my ability anyway. And next couple of videos, like I said, will just pertain to what you need to do to PvP more, what you need to do to increase your stats and just increase your effectiveness as a Templar on Ion. I've re released a few videos, and for the most part, I'm still kind of rusty. I'm still kind of getting back into the game from Arcage. So excuse the lackluster effects or the lackluster, I guess, OP sense in those videos. But I will get back on my grind and I will get things back on, on track here. But yeah, if you have any questions, whisper me, leave a comment. And I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button if you like it subscribe helps me out and also i'll be able to know better what content you're interested in all right guys i will talk to you later and don't give up especially if you're trying to pvp just don't don't give up all right